with the ball in play. Ed Brown passes the Bill McCall, and Chicago has a first down on its own 40. Jim Patton, the smallest man on the Giants squad. And the Bears are going to go for it. Carolina is cut down by Bill Svoboda and M. Tunnell behind the line. Chicago is trying to run through the sturdy Giant defense and is not enjoying too much success. J.C. Caroline manages a three-yard gain on this play. Bear razzle-dazzle. Brown fakes the hill, then gives the Caroline in a deep reverse. The Giants are fooled, but not for long as linebacker Harlan Svari hauls Caroline down on the nine-yard line. The Bears have to kick. Brown stands deep in his end zone, but Ray Beck breaks through to block the punt. The free ball is loose in the end zone, and Arkansas rookie Henry Moore gets his first professional score by recovering the ball for a touchdown. Chicago is in New York territory, but the Bears must battle both the clock and the Giants. Landa attempting the pass is thrown by Harlan Sparry for a long loss, and that's the end of the first half. It's a surprising form reversal. The New York Giants alert to every opportunity and displaying a fighting and ferocious defense leave the field at halftime on the long end of an... Let's review that important play from the Miller end zone angle. Watch closely and you'll see Hill drop the ball and recover. Consequently, the pass is incomplete. The magnificent New York defenders receive a rousing ovation as they trot to the sideline. Harlan Sver, a former Ram and All-Pro linebacker with the Giants passed away at the age of 89. Sver's football career began in 1953 when the Los Angeles Rams drafted the tight end in the 17th round. When he arrived in camp, the team asked him to play linebacker, but he also continued to play tight end. Sver played two seasons with the Rams before being traded to the New York Giants. Football left Sver with many tales to tell, much of it of his playing time with the Los Angeles Rams from 1953 from 1954 and the New York Giants from 1955 to 1960. Among those memories is winning the championship game with the Giants in 1956 and losing a heartbreaking 23-17 game to Baltimore in a contest that became known in football lore as the greatest game ever played. Sver played and worked with Vince Lombardi and played for Tom Landry during his time in New York. He called Landry the greatest coach he ever played or coached with. When Landry left the Giants as the defensive coach, Sver became a player coach of the Giants. When his playing days came to an end, Sver was hired to coach the Los Angeles Rams at the age of 31 years, 11 months, making him the youngest coach in NFL history at the time. He held that distinction until 2007 when Lane Kiffin was hired to coach the Oakland Raiders at the age of 31 years, 8 months. Sver was with the Rams from 1962 to 1965 and finished with a 14 wins, 31 losses and 3 ties record. He worked as an assistant in Washington before taking a job as head coach of the San Diego Chargers from 1971 to 1973. His Charger teams had tough times and his tenure with the Chargers was just several years. On Tom Landry Sver said I consider him the smartest coach of all time. You'd come off the field, and he'd ask you what were you doing on that play. You'd tell him, and he'd just stare at you and go, okay he taught me how to think things out. Sver also played under Vince Lombardi who coached as an assistant with the Giants. Lombardi had a well-earned reputation as a disciplinarian. Everything Sver knew about toughening up his players, he said he learned from Lombardi. Condolences to his family and friends, may he rest in peace.